when there are high number of data points the map tends to get cluttered with markers an alternate is to show these markers in the form of clusters something like this instead of having markers we see these clusters the 136 here shows that this cluster is made of 136 markers similarly 733 shows here this cluster is made of 733 markers so if i click on this it shows the different subclusters so you can see it different it, it breaks it further into subclusters and as we click on it will keep on showing um, smaller clusters and it will break down to a point where it shows you individual markers let's see how to get this done in our studio to add clusters we will use cluster options within add circle markers function so I will say cluster options equals marker cluster options now we have got uh, different options we can put inside the marker cluster options but let's just go with default and I if I run this we should get the clusters and we can see these clusters the different options available to us are listed here you can try them I will use one of it which is freeze at zoom I will say freeze at zoom equals 6 what it does is when you run the code it freezes the zoom so it freezes the zoom to level 6 and whatever clusters we see there it will always show up to that zoom level let me run this code before we run the code let's see how the previous clustered markers look like okay now let's rerun the code to see the difference so now it is zoomed to level 6 this is zoom level 6 and this is how the cluster would look like when you zoom zoom into from previous state to zoom level 6 let's see what happens if we reduce the freeze at zoom to level 5 what I'm expecting is we are zooming out one level and so the number of clusters we see here should reduce and we can see that the number of clusters are now reduced because we have zoomed out one level let's zoom out one more level just to see the difference and now we are expecting that the number of clusters would would actually be lesser 